you're done? You're not taking any more calls? No, who's better? That's the argument. In that game, it was no, Justin it, Herbert. It was never an argument. He's better. He, could you imagine him with, with Tyreek Hill and Jalen well, Waddle? The narrative going into that game was that Tua had passed him by. Yeah, and not, the not, argument was over on that side of not, things. Not by this guy. I can tell you that right now. And, I, and look, and Tua's been better than I thought he would be. Huh? But he's not better than Justin Herbert. And he's, you could ask every general manager in the league, including his own, and if he, instead he's, if he was lying, you would know because it would go beep. Because he'd be lying if he said he would take two over Justin Herbert. So why can't the Chargers and Justin Herbert and that offense be more consistent like we saw in that game? More like that from week to week? Well, he was outstanding navigating the pocket, and that's the problem. Their offensive line is terrible. You know, they don't have their, their star left tackle. He's out. Uh, the center just came back, and they have a lot of young guys on that offense. The right side of the offensive line is a rookie and a guy who barely even played. So they've had problems protecting him, and he was great the other night getting outside the pocket. You know, that's you know they haven't had the receivers either. Going into that game, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen had t- played 40-something snaps together. I mean, that, that impacts you as an offense. And I'm not a big fan of the play call, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think they've held him back some uh, in terms of what he does throwing the football down the field. But here's the thing. They're dangerous because of him. The problem is they're missing so many guys. Can they get those guys back? If they get their guys back, they're going to be a team that could push for a playoff spot. Uh, we're looking at Pete Prisco's power rankings here. And in the top 10, the, the biggest faller was the Minnesota Vikings, down a couple of spots to number seven after the loss last week to the Lions. How far can Minnesota go if their defense continues to play like they have the last month or two? It's time to change it up. They play, and, and, you know, they play such a soft, off coverage that teams just kill them. You can't do that all the time. you got to mix it up. I mean, that's who Ed Donatel is. I get it. That's his style. But you have to be able to mix it up, and they're not mixing it up. They give up a ton of big plays, a ton of passing yards, and it's a problem for them. Uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the offense and a lot of pressure on Kirk Cousins as they get into big games. And we know what happens when he plays big games. And if he's pressured, he's the guy that has to respond. We'll see if he can. So it's going to be a problem for the Vikings. Look, I said it early in the season. I used the fraud word, the F word, you know, fraud, fraud, fraud. And somehow I've heard it made its way back up to Minnesota. So, uh, look, you are what you are. You're 10-3. and three. But that's not a good 10-3, I can tell you that. Well, no, they still have a negative point differential, which is unheard of for a team that is 10-3. It had never happened before until right now. Vikings have the two spot in the NFC right now, but certainly I don't think you'd find many people that would say they're the second best team in the NFC. Would you rather play? If you're a team at the end trying to get, and you get in, would you rather be the, the, play them or play the three or the four seed? Uh, the four, well, the four seed, seed might be the Bucks. Big. Yeah, you but You'd but rather play the Bucks than the... I would rather play the Vikings than, than the, the Cowboys, the Niners, Niners. obviously the Eagles yeah. would be the one seed. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the Tennessee Titans who are really struggling. They've lost three straight games. How far did they drop in your poll? They didn't. They went up. <laughs> because everybody around them lost. Look, at who are they better than that's around them that fell? Are they well, better than... That, the... that must mean that you ranked them wrong to begin no. with. Are they better than the Giants? Not the last I mean, the Giants weeks. beat them, but they better. Giants, what, four, four or five and a tie in the last last five weeks? I'm sorry. If you're on a three-game losing skid, okay. you can't be moving Jets, up multiple spots. Jets have lost a bunch to a couple in a row. I mean, who's, who's good in this group? You've got them almost in the top ten. Would you have put the Patriots ahead of them? I... They play the Chargers this week, so we can end the argument. The Chargers can end the argument. But somehow, someway, don't you think Derrick Henry's going to run for 250 and, and win that game somehow? I, I, mean, just, I just don't know how you can move up like that when well, you lost three spots. But everybody else. In moved, a bad division. Everybody moved. Oh, I mean, you want me to move New England up six spots to the <laughs> 11 spot? Are they good? I mean, look at this. This is a, a bunch of mediocrity in this grouping right here. There's a lot of people that are upset with how low you have the lines. I saw you, someone was so mad at you that you ended up blocking them I did on block Twitter. Them. I did block them. You said, hey, I want to show you a magic trick. Yeah, no, I told him. Poof, you're gone. No, he said he said uh, he could do my job. Oh, I, 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 the way he knows football, I could do his job. All I have to do, I'm going to take his job or whatever. And I said, yeah, first thing you need to do is learn magic so I can make people disappear. Poof, you're gone. And I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get too much uh, too much out of blocking people on Twitter. Thin skin. No, I'm thin not skin. It's fun. You, it's fun. I don't care. Skin. You can call you can call me any name you want to, but it's fun to block. I mean, right. if you come at me, I'm coming right back at you. All right, bring it, Pete. Uh, Raiders somehow blew a late lead to Baker Mayfield, and uh, they're they're probably out of the playoff race now. How far did they drop? Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're they're done. They're dropping into a. You moved them up. 
but they're dropping into oblivion in terms of, well, because look at the teams around them that have lost. Look at the teams around them. It's, there's, a lot of garbage in this, there's a lot of garbage in this league, okay? We're, who, go around, look around them. Rankings, look around sure. them and tell me who, who, are they, who is worse than, who are they be, worse than around them? Go ahead, tell me, Chris. I want you to tell me. I'm putting you on the spot. Well, I don't know who's you ask, around them. You ask me all the questions. You ask me all the questions. I'm asking They're you. They're your power ring. Yeah, but I want you. You're arguing with me. You're being contrarian. You tell me. Which I don't know. Do we have a list of yeah, where they're show at? Yeah, the show their teams around the Raiders and let Noah Chris answer prepared. my question. I'm putting Producer you on Noah the spot. Was prepared. He's got no. He's got nothing to show us where the Raiders are in the rankings. He usually has plenty to show us. There we go. See, All here right. we go. So the Raiders are at 19. Okay, who's better than them below them? Are the Browns? Oh, I only see the Browns. So okay, are the Browns better than them? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. No. All right, so there's one, and they're at 20. So. Oh, yeah, I don't know who's 21. Yeah, well, if we get the 21 through. I, I, my guess is Noah doesn't have it, or else it would already be yeah, on the screen. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. But the, the bottom line is the teams below them aren't any better than them. So I'm tired of seeing teams lose bad games and move up. There's a lot of teams losing. You, know, you have a lot of teams lose every week, Chris. Uh, okay, it is now time for Pete to bury a team that's been out of playoff contention for weeks. Uh, who is it this week? The Arizona Cardinals. See ya. What took you so long? Well, I mean, they had a little bit of hope, and that hope is gone. And worse, the quarterback's gone. And, and that was a terrible injury. It's, a, it, it, you know, gone for the year. Probably going to be a tough rehab for him. And you wonder with him being who he is and how he plays – what does it do to him as a quarterback? Because his whole persona is to get outside and create plays with your legs and take deep drops and run around and become this exciting player. And now he's got to learn to be a pocket passer because you know, he can come back from ACLs, but you wonder if he's ever going to be the same guy. I always say, Chris, and we see guys get hurt inside the pocket, but the game is meant to be played in there, man. You've got to be able to make the throws inside the pocket. It's dangerous out there. And this was a non-contact drill. But a non-contact injury, but it's still dangerous outside. You've got to be able to make plays in the pocket. I'm curious to see what it means for him moving forward. And better than that, I'm curious to see what it means for the regime. Right. Is Steve Kime gone? Is Cliff Kingsbury gone? I would think so. I think they have major problems. You think problems. both are gone? I do. And even though a lot of money, new, new contracts last year, I think that when you look at the fan base, if they're not sold, you don't sell tickets, that's a big hit. You get rid of them and eat the money. All right, Pete Prisco with his uh, brand new power rankings. You can see them all at cbssports.com. And if you don't like them. Yeah, well, most people don't. Good. Uh, Pick 6 podcast. Uh, they, they had a Sunday night episode where they talked all about the playoff races in both leagues with four games to go. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.